gonna I'm gonna try. Show sure y'all how the right way to make off barbed wire. Right? Can't see me right now. I'm down. I'm coming along the dog. second post, my H post if you will. The reason is to get it out of my way. I'm stretching it out 1100 feet here. I'll get enough bounce back, rubber band effect, whatever, to deal with the slack from here to there, which is only about eight feet. I've stretched it plenty tight. Might be over tight. That tree there should have cut down. So I'll measure when you have enough to double wrap. Pull it up. Now, all kinds of ways to deal with the barb. Strip them with your pliers, works just fine. You can strip them with a gripple tool, works just fine. You can not strip them at all, works just fine. In a gate hole, we always strip them, especially on the light side for obvious reasons. But then there's, I've got an old hole where I pulled a post up. I've got these clippings dropping in. There's only one reason I'm out well, I'm along a road but it's a, it's a cattle pasture there's only one reason I'm stripping these and that's to make it easier for me to handle you don't have to do it there's a good trash can right there on every ever ever fence post Okay, six wire fence, nine inch spacing, eight inch nippix. I'll get all the slack I can. There's a little set of jaws inside the nippix or any good fence pliers like Crescents have them too. They're there for a reason. That's the reason. Go around. Twice. Always double wrap. Come here. I like to catch a barb just because it looks better. Once I get to there, it'll hold itself pretty good. Now, almost every set of pliers will have a hole in them. The Nipix hole's not as good as the Crescent hole. That's because it was made by foreigners and they don't know what the hell they're doing. They make some good quality stuff. But just, one of these days they'll get it figured out. Once you get it where you're not, start slipping. And this works really good with press crescent pliers and this is the way we used to do it with uh, low tensile. So I'm gonna grab my, these aren't cutters right now, they're pliers. I'm gonna grab my tag in. I'm not gonna grab it like this and try to do like this. Or grab it like this and try to grab it sideways, parallel to the wire. Grab my pliers and my wire. And I'm going to roll. And I'm going to roll. With high tensile wire, you can't do it quite as much. You'll break it. Low tensile wire, you can put it. Low tensile wire, you can draw this all the way up. And it'll tighten this up at the same time. But anyway, cut the slack. 
before I drop the tension, I like to make sure that's nice and neat. The termina termination knot that the European guys are using, they come around once and they, let, they, they leave a run a wire back through here. It leaves a big slack loop. It's plenty strong. It just looks like hell. One job we used it on, after a fella showed it to us, we had to go back and redo them all. The customer was, you know, what in the hell is that? This looks neat. At least to my people, it looks neat. And I promise you, it's just as strong, if not stronger. The double wrap absorbs the shocks if something hit this. And the same thing as the loop absorbs the shock in the European style knot. I believe this, this is a better knot, and, I, and, and I'm willing to, uh, I'd be more willing, more, more than willing to put it up against the other termination knot. Anyway, there you go. There you go. I hope the video turned out. It probably didn't.